welcome to my new video with the first Sam in my life. I added my other friend Sam on last week and this week I have this Sam, which is very exciting because I don't get to see this Sam for much. We live very far away from each other. Yeah, because you moved. I did. I did move. I was naughty and I moved. Sorry. I am so lucky to have her here with me right now. Aww. Celebrating the 4th of July. We've actually celebrated the 4th together for many years. Not for last so many, year. But all the years before all that. All the years before that, we celebrated the 4th together. So it's almost like a little tradition of ours. That and New Year's. Mm -hmm. My, like, I have, like, a weird calicky thing. See that? I, like... So today we did a date makeup on Sam, which was fun because, you know, we all like to date, I think. Yeah, dates I are like fun. to date when someone wants to date. No. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to go to a really dark place. So my beautiful Sam here has a significant other, so she is on dates a lot and... You also, you know, have lots of functions you go to mm -hmm. when you're in school. And I think day makeup is just something that's really good to kind of have in your little arsenal of looks. Mm -hmm. Because it's one, well, A, you can do for dating, obviously. And it's also just a natural look. It, it's not, you know, all about wings and brights and bulls. And I think those things are really fun, and I do them all the time. But with date makeup, it's nice to just let your inner self shine through, especially on a first date. Like once you're like on like, if you're like married, like don't, just don't wear makeup. <laughs> <laughs> and you're saying that as a makeup artist, don't wear makeup. Yeah. <laughs> you won. You won the game. <laughs> There's no point. No, I'm kidding. Um, but... Yeah, I think it's it's really nice to just kind of let your inner beauty shine through and just kind of make yourself feel good. And and something you can chime in anytime you want. I think makeup is something you do it for yourself. I don't really mm -hmm. think girls do it for boys. You know, sometimes like we're like, oh, I want to put some lip gloss on because I want him to notice me. But... <laughs> For the most part, like, we do it for ourselves because we like... We like feeling good. Yeah. Yeah. It's a personal thing. That it's was... fun to wear makeup. It's really fun to wear makeup, and it's fun to feel good about yourself, and you need that... Sometimes you need that extra confidence boost. So, for this look, we used a combination of Sam's makeup and my makeup. Kind of did a little collab on the makeup side. Mm -hmm. um, drugstore products, high-end products... I'm gonna try to include more drugstore products in my videos because I know that that's more the level of comfort people, you know, that's more comfortable financially for people. It's just most people just would rather spend their money on other things. Um, so I am gonna try to include more drugstore products because they are, they do actually work really well. I really like. The bronzer I used on you, it actually is very, very nice. I might pick it up myself. Um, you're welcome. So stay tuned for that. Thank you so, so much for watching. Everyone's been incredibly supportive, especially the people who I, you know, have with me. Sam's right next to me, my friend Casey's in, her, in my bed, <laughs> has been napping, <laughs> slept through the whole video, which really says something about how entertaining mm -hmm. we are, mm -hmm. how fun, how vibrant, how lively, that we can literally laugh, put someone from laughing to sleep in 20 seconds <laughs> like that. Yeah. Like that. It's a true talent. Um, but she's laughing now, so we got that Now she's laughing, so she's probably about to fall back asleep. Okay, night. <laughs> night. The night, night bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> thanks for watching guys bye I'm going to start Sam's makeup off by making sure her skin is really moisturized I'm using Ombre Elise La Creme Concentre 
you don't want dry flaky skin on a first date. I think that's pretty, pretty standard for what you don't want. <laughs> you want to look pretty and glowy <laughs> and gorgeous. Really? You don't want flaky skin? No. I, want, I want flaky skin on a date. I, oh, <laughs> you're into some weird things. <laughs> Next, I'm taking a just a tiny bit of foundation. I'm just applying a very small amount to her nose and the red spots right under her cheeks. Next, I am using the NARS Creamy Concealer. Next, we're going to use one of Sam's makeup items, which is the CoverGirl Simply Powder Foundation. Next, I'm taking the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous, which is normally pronounced gorgeous, <laughs> um, concealer. I'm taking that just a couple dots under the eyes. Now, you have dark circles. I do. How do you try to combat them? Mm. Just concealing? Concealing. I have the benefit, um, I have the benefit eye. Cream? Eye cream, yeah. That's really good. That's I actually your... night. Huh? I said I put it on at night before I go to bed. Yeah. That's a really good tip for anyone who, like, has dark circles. You have them genetically. Like, they're not from lack of sleep, right? I think so. Yeah, yeah because you've kinda, always had, like, dark circles. I kind of always just look like I've been punched in the face. Aww. <laughs> Bummer, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, but if you have dark circles, an eye cream is so important just to keep the area moisturized. Dark circles can be caused by a couple things, but the two biggest things that give you dark circles are lack of sleep and under eye dehydration. Mm. On to the brows. Samantha is very blessed to have gorgeous eyebrows. Thank you. We talk about eyebrows a lot, don't we? Oh my gosh, I love eyebrows. They're the best. Eyebrow person. eyes. I put some primer on the eyes earlier. I think for a date it's really nice to do something neutral and shimmery and then use liner to enhance your eyes. Mm -hmm. Kind of a deep smoky look. It's obviously very pretty. You could do it if you wanted. But I like something a little more simple. So I'm using MAC All the Glitters which I think is like the quintessential date shade. Next I'm going to take MAC Brulee, which is another favorite nude of mine. Only this is true nude. It's, you know, shimmerless, matte, um, but it's just going right into the brow bone. To highlight, but also just to kind of soften the skin, it's just going to blend out the edges of all the glitters. Next, I am going to take the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in Demolition. Ooh. What? So I'm just going to turn off the camera while I apply this to Sam's upper lid and then smudge it out and then we'll be right back. I applied the eyeliner and then smoked it out using an eyeliner brush and then a smudger brush. And now I'm going to do the same thing on the lower lash line in a different color. This is a Sephora shade in golden sand. Ooh, very nice. Now it's time to curl the lashes and apply mascara. And today we're using the CoverGirl Professional Super Thick Lash. 
Now Sam's eyes are done and it's on to the face. We're gonna use the Rimmel Natural Bronzer in Sunlight and a Real Techniques Duo Fiber Brush. Just a very small bit. We don't want this to be a bronzy look. Just using the E3 Technique. It's my first video. If you haven't watched it, you should go check it out. It's just gonna give a little bit of definition to the face while still warming it but not having it be you know a contoured look which can be really harsh and is really not something you want to wear on a first date maybe a little tense yeah, a little bit. the final step for the face is a little bit of blush and for this we're using the NARS blush in the shade Love. This was unfortunately limited edition, but it is a shade that's pretty, pretty easily available. It's just kind of a pale petal pink. And we're just adding a tiny bit just to give Sam, as the name says, he loves blush. <laughs> And finally, finally, last part of the tutorial is the lips. And we're taking a mini little um, sugar passion lip balm. And I'm just going to kind of pack this slash around right in the center of Sam's lips, top and bottom. And then just using your finger to finish rubbing it out and this will leave a stain very moist dry stain so this is the final look thank you so much sam oh thank you let's talk quickly about our deepest fears and like maybe how we're afraid to be alone 